Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a Teddy Bee's, uh, what was that called? A pre-order? Yeah, a Teddy Bee's pre-order haul from September. That was when the pre-order was. So it came in, I've gotten a chance to smell some things and now let's haul it. Sorry about the lighting. There's a big old shadow here, but I'm filming in the kitchen and the sun is setting and there's nothing I could do about it. And since it's December and December is always crazy busy, this is when I have time to film it. So I hope that it's okay with you guys, but let's get into it. Okay, starting out with Kalani's here. I have apple cider donuts, which is orchard apples, a hint of cinnamon, caramel, and a rich cake donut. And like I showed, I think in my last haul, my pre-order haul from whenever that was, she puts pour dates on it now, which is incredible. So there are little stickers on the side. They're not on the front label, but that doesn't bother me any. So just be on the lookout on the side if you are buying from Teddy Bees. This is what it looks like. This one's good, not too much glitter, very minimal. I like it. I love her jumbo clamshells. I have dog hair all over this, oh my God. I put it down on the couch and now there's dog hair all over it. I love her jumbo clamshells. I just think they're so great. You just pop one cube out and you're good to go. I'm getting wax all over this counter. Okay, apple cider dough, or yeah, apple cider dough. This is good. It really smells very cakey, donutty. It's not super yeasty. It's not super spicy. You really get like a very dense cake donut note. I don't really even necessarily smell like apples. It just smells like a really nice fall bakery type of scent. Caramel is not too prominent, which is great because I don't do caramel. Cinnamon is not spicy, uh, red hot cinnamon. This is nice. It's really, really nice. Not a typical apple, apple cider donut type of scent. Definitely different, but I'm cool with that. Her stuff is just so soft. It's the only thing, it is a blessing and a curse about Teddy Bees is that her stuff is so soft. Blessing, because when you go to cut things, they cut like a dream. You don't even need to microwave them. Curse is when you're trying to smell something, I mean, you can't have it in your hand longer than like two seconds because they just melt. Ugh, tried and true favorite, which is be crazy. You guys have seen this before. It's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. I love this one. And it never has any glitter on it, which I love even more. It's so good. I've melted this. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's just good. I don't even like pumpkin pecan waffles typically, but man, oh man, hers is good. It's just so sweet and like cozy bakery. Oh, I just love that. You need to try that. You just, you, that is just a need to try scent. We have milk and cookies, which is creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, and buttery cookie dough. Again, they all have her pour dates. This one's not too bad with the glitter. Ooh, this one's nice. You definitely get like a sweet milk note, sort of like a sugar milk, but not as like nasty as some sugar milks can be. Ooh, it's lovely. There's no chocolate in it, which is good because I thought, ooh, maybe this will be like a chocolate chip cookie, you know, but none of that. It's just truly like a vanilla buttery dough, like kind of like a butter cookie dough mixed with sugar, um, sugar milk. Oh, yes. Or sweet milk, not sugar milk. Because like I said, it doesn't have that nasty. Sometimes sugar milk can just be, ugh. But this, this sweet milk is good. Oh, that's sweet and yummy. That one's nice too. I like that one. A repeat buy is pistachio circus cookies. A delicious blend of pistachio dream cake, pistachio macaroon, and frosted sir sugar cookie. Oh my God, Frosted Circus Sugar Cookie. Sorry, that's a mouthful. This one is green and so pretty. I just sounded so annoying there, so pretty. But, oh, this is delicious. It is no cherry at all. No, man, this is just beautiful, sweet, a little bit nutty sugar cookie. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. I love this one. I absolutely love this. I was so scared because I thought it would be cherry, but it's not. It's beautiful, sweet. 
cakey cookie. Oh my gosh, I just, that one is like 10 out of 10 good. It's, it's phenomenal. Her sugar, her Frosted Circus sugar cookies is a really good scent. We got Fall Brulee, pumpkin, cinnamon, and spices, French vanilla, maple, marshmallow, caramelized sugar, and cake batter. Ooh, sparkly. Not too bad, though. This one's a pretty orange color. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Not my most favorite on cold. It smells like something I've smelled before or a scent that I'm used to. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, though, the more I smell it. Mm hmm. I'm trying to, think, like, put my finger on what it smells like, but I just can't do it. You definitely get pumpkin. You get cinnamon and spices, sweetness. And that's really it. It's just kind of like a blend of all of that. Sort of craft story vibe-ish. Or, oh, you know, oh, my God, wait, wait. Okay, you know what it smells like? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it smells very similar to Sugar and Spice from Yankee Candle. It's got that same Sugar and Spice note. It's not as yeasty as Sugar and Spice from Yankee Candle, but it's got that same vibe to it. I just finished burning that candle. That's why it's sparking my memory. But yeah, that's what I get from that. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Um, Not my most favorite, but not too bad. That could definitely transform when warming. We've got strawberry pound cake. This is golden shortcake topped with fresh strawberries and fresh whipped cream. I think, oh yeah, over here it says that it's the BBW type. She has one that is her own blend that I keep trying to get my hands on, but I can't, I can't get it. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to try that one. This one did already yellow a little bit, but that's okay. That's because it was poured in October. This is not an exact dupe, but it's still good. Similar but not an exact dupe. Goose Creek's honestly smells the most similar to BBW's, but this is nice. Same strawberry note, where it's a very cakey strawberry, not artificial, not fruit snacky, just kind of that nice, sweet strawberry mixed with all that white cake. Yeah, this is good. Good, good, good. Again, not an exact dupe to my nose, but very close and still a nice strawberry shortcake or a strawberry pound cake scent. Moving on, we've got blackberry butter pecan cookies, butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. I was so excited for this one. Pretty. It's a nice purple. This one, this one is incredible. This one is so delicious. Her blackberry and her butter pecan waffle, or yeah, which butter pecan waffles. Oh my god, it's to die for. Her blackberry is so good. Oh man, it is good. Oh, this is this is top notch. This is really, really good. I am so happy I picked up more of this in her ready to ship sale. Oh, this is so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a perfect blend of that fruity blackberry mixed with that warm bakery butter pecan waffles and the sweetness. This is delicious. I love it. Absolutely love it. That one might be the favorite of the whole entire order. It might be. It's it's good. It's so good. We have Team Pumpkin. Pumpkin pie, vanilla frosting, sweet sugar cookies blended with our sugar and spice. Now, I'm not a huge fan of her sugar and spice, but I wanted to take a chance. Oh, I love that this does not have that much glitter. Hmm. Yeah, you get the sugar and spice in there, but that's okay. I like that it's mixed with the pumpkin pie and some extra vanilla. It's nice. I like it, I think, more than I like the fall, fall brulee. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's sweeter, smoother, less spicy. That's nice, though. That's nice. I enjoy that one. Then we have... Pumpkin, oh sorry, vanilla pumpkin circus cookies, which is a blend of our frosted circus sugar cookies paired with pumpkin pie spice and vanilla cream. Pretty. This one's a nice like tangerine color. 
Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It smells like vanilla bean marshmallow from... Or pumpkin... What is that? Pumpkin vanilla marshmallow from Bath & Body Works. I think it's pumpkin vanilla marshmallow. Yep, pumpkin vanilla marshmallow. 100% all the way. Delicious. Not a spicy pumpkin whatsoever. Just a super sweet marshmallowy... Oh, vanilla -y scent. This is so good. Oh, yes. If you're kind of scared of pumpkin, this is so, so tame. Not spiced. Just very sweet, mellow. Yeah, this one's amazing. This one is amazing. I would melt that all year round. I mean, I'd probably melt most of these all year round, but that one especially. Pumpkins and hay rides, which is Pumpkin, a touch of sweet cinnamon, amber, brown sugar, warm hay, forest fern, and woods. I was really interested about the uh, hay, the woods. Okay, I can't get it open. And see, my hands are slippery from the wax, so I really cannot get this open. So, I was really intrigued by this. I usually don't do, like, woodsy type. I mean, it's a gorgeous, like, olive forest green. This is really, really lovely. Wow, it's almost fresh. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, this is so unique and different. Like I said, it almost takes on a freshness. This is beautiful. It almost smells like a man standing in the woods, sort of. Not heavy, not that heavy cologne, but it's got like a little bit of sexiness to it. Mmm, I don't get much cinnamon at all. I think it's really a mix of the hay, forest, for, forest fern, woods, and amber. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So unique. I can honestly say I don't own a single thing like that in my collection. That is really, really cool and very pretty. Oh, my God. My box of wax just fell into the sink. <laughs> um, it's it's pretty. It's pretty. It's fresh. It's kind of like almost masculine. I don't know. That's got like a lot going on to it and I'm into it. Okay. Last clamshell is the perfect storm, which is sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. And you all know me. I love me some aquatic scents. So I had to try this. It is so pretty with the blue. I just love aquatic without them being florally. Oh, this is so pretty. Yep. It's aquatic. Number one is aquatic, almost, mmm, that oak moss and the little damp leaves. It's really nice. First note is aquatic. Second is like a slightly cologne but not what you're thinking. Like not like mahogany teakwood cologne more. Just like that oak moss and the dark amber where it's just like a dark, heady, manly type of scent. Oh man, this is delicious. Not delicious like food wise, but so sexy, so calming for me. Very pretty. I'm a fan. Definitely a fan of that. Not florally at all, which is great. Because sometimes aquatic can be floral, and I just, I'm not here for that vibe. All right. I got two little souffle cups. The first one is in the Haunted Bakery, which is zucchini bread, buttercream frosting, and pecan pralines. Now I get souffles if I'm not sure I'm gonna like a scent very much. And this has zucchini in it, so I'm trying the zucchini, but I think I'm just ruling it a I'm ruling it a miss that I just don't love it. So but this one's not too bad. It does have the zucchini bread note to it, but I really get the praline or the pecan pralines first. It does have a zucchini note, unfortunately. But it's not too too bad. Yeah, not too, too bad. The, the pecan pralines is really the four, like the four note and it's nice. Nice bakery for sure. But I don't think I would need more than a souffle of that. And like I said, her souffles are so perfect because you just cut them. You don't have to microwave them and they fit right back in a tin. They are just, they're perfect. Her wax is the perfect consistency to cut up. And then I also got one more souffle in creme de bum bum which is a bum bum cream type i've never tried it never smelled it so we'll see this is pistachio almond vanilla jasmine salted caramel and sandalwood now originally i would never go after anything like this because it's got pistachio and almond most of those take most of the, of the time those scents take on a cherry note which i don't do and it also has jasmine and caramel in it 
but everybody is raving about it and all my friends in the wax world said nope you gotta try it it doesn't smell like cherry you gotta you gotta try it so we're giving it a try wow <laughs> wow that is so pretty oh my gosh okay now i'm like really kicking myself for not getting more of this in the ready to ship wow that's so pretty it smells like a gorgeous body hair I don't even know how to describe it. I like, I guess pistachio, I guess almond, I guess vanilla, I guess not. I don't even know. Sandalwood for sure. Sandalwood is definitely in there. So is vanilla. Oh my gosh. It's really, really <laughs> lovely. Wow. I'm so shocked. I thought I was honestly, I thought I was going to hate it. Holy moly. It's so, so pretty. It's a lighter scent, not in like scent and throw, just like the type of scent that it is. It's not very heavy. It's not you know, it doesn't weigh you down. This is very light and kind of refreshing in, you know, during this time of year. Oh man, it smells like I want to wrap myself. I want to shower in like something like this and then put on super cozy, like sweatpants and a sweatshirt and just snuggle up. Like that is just really pretty. Like that reminds me of what a pretty lady would smell like. You like, you walk past somebody in the mall that smells like this. You go, Ooh, she smells nice. I wonder what she's wearing. Okay. And then I got two samples which is head in the clouds i have wax on my finger i have head in the clouds which is white clouds tiff's favorite lavender and pink sugar i don't do white clouds and i don't do lavender so yeah i hate this <laughs> i hate this so much oh i hate white clouds oh like it actually makes my stomach turn i don't like white clouds at all and then we have the crack of dawn which is coffee bean a la mode and witches be crazy and it's a layered sample which is so cute and, ooh, the top is coffee, but that's actually kind of a nice coffee. You definitely get that a la mode note, which is, it's a creamy vanilla coffee. And then the bottom is, of course, which is be crazy, which I love. This one I actually might like. I don't usually do coffee scents because they're not my most favorite, but that coffee is really, really nice. Very smooth, vanilla, sweet. I kind of like that. I kind of like it. A sample will definitely suffice. Like, I don't need any more than a sample, but... It smells very lovely. So yeah, that is it for my Teddy Bees pre-order. Like I said, this came from September and it is now here. And then she had a ready to ship sale um, Sunday, the, what day was that? The 29th? I think it was the 29th. Saturday, November 29th, or Sunday, November 29th. And I ordered some, I picked up some other things. My order didn't come here till that following Tuesday, so I didn't really get to smell anything. I just kind of went off of what people suggested and um, some new things to try because she did have some stuff on sale. So it was nice. I, I'm looking forward to getting that order in, and I, of course, will haul it all for you. I think for sure favorite is this blackberry butter pecan cookies. It is just so delicious. And, and yeah, then maybe, maybe followed by the creme de bum bum. I don't know. I also really like the vanilla pumpkin circus cookies. Ooh, yeah. I love pistachio cookies. I just love it all. Honestly, Teddy Bee's is when she, when I, when it's a scent that I love, I love it. Like she knocks that out of the park. Her scents are so good. And obviously I don't buy things I know I'm not going to like, like lavender and stuff. I've tried it. I just don't like it. You know, I've tried it even from her, but it's just, her stuff is like, it's so good. You have to try Teddy Bee's if you haven't already. It is just, her stuff smells amazing and very authentic for sure. Like what you smell is what you get, you know, kind of, or what you see is what you get kind of thing. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Let me know down below if you guys have tried Teddy Bee's or if you purchased anything from this pre-order or her ready to ship. I would love to chat with you guys about some Teddy Bee's. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.